Oh man, I'm gonna be a little late for this initial meeting. Can I help you? Yeah, can I get a filet of fish sandwich, please? But you know what? I really don't care. I'm not really about oppressing my customers. I better put extra tartar sauce on it this time. I had to get some food and the truth is, most people don't have any idea what it costs to repair things and I don't either. Better supersize me. Yeah, we'll go diet today. I'm watching the calories, so so I don't really worry about it because I know that I can overcharge pretty much any customer. Last time they forgot the goddamn tartar sauce. At the uh, ICA, the International Contractors Academy, they taught us how to basically brainwash our customers. I teach customer underappreciation 101 and 102, and then I teach uh, customer mind control in the uh, MBA program on the weekends. So, and I really don't even care what I say when I meet a customer. And the truth is, they don't know what the hell I'm talking about. And I like it that way. This must be it. Looks like a job site. Oh, I'm gonna have fun with this guy. I see you, relax. Is this the job You're site? You're late. I, you're late. Only 45 minutes. You don't even have a watch on. When are you, you're late. You have any tartar sauce? Did you print the scope of work? Yeah, no. Do you have a bathroom though? Did you even look at the the scope of work that I sent you? Is this PB? What? Well, let's take a look. Come on, show me around. We got a remodel going on here. A little carpet and paint. It's more than carpet and paint. Well, let's go check it out. That's a nice house there. That's not the house you're looking oh, at. That's not your yard? No, that's not my yard. That's, okay. There's a fence there. Where do you want to start? What's your company's name? Subpar Construction. Our motto is, we do just enough. Are you wearing a bandana? It gets hot out here in the sun when you're as busy as I am. Let's start in the garage, follow me. You're not framing, you don't need to measure that. It's a little over a foot. So what do you want to put a door right there? What are we doing to this? This a flower pot inside? Oh, there's that bathroom. No, no. I can't believe it. Never in all my years. I wouldn't go in there ever. <laughs> Where's the rest of your sleeves? Oh, this is standard issue construction outfit. So Dick, what do you want me to look at here? It's Richard. I got it, Dick. I don't go by Richard. That's what I said. Dick, if you want my quote, it's 250 grand. And you'll to get just what? to do everything here, and you'll get just enough. Call me when you need me. I'm late for another quote. <laughs> Unbelievable. Deal or no deal? You know, this is my first project, to be honest, on the rehab side, and I thought I knew, I thought I had the tools to get it done. Uh, you know, I got some emails from fortune builders on uh, how to create a scope of work, uh, contract your interview, and go through that process to be effective, and I, I didn't. Uh, actually get that information because I didn't think I need it. That was a disaster. Uh, so I'm absolutely going back to the information that's going to hopefully make me avoid contractors like that. I can't believe that guy. That went really well. That's the best meeting I've had in a long time with a customer and I think I really nailed that. I gave him a good quote. <clears throat> really conducted myself in a <clears throat> professional manner. And I really think that I'm gonna get that bid, which I need. Um, those filet fish sandwiches are really adding up and I can't be putting them on my card anymore. But really, that's uh, that went well and I'm, I'm really positive about that. Quote of the week. Here's the thing, guys. If you ever meet a contractor, a subcontractor, an independent contractor, or someone that you're gonna hire in your business and they look like an ex-Chippendales model on uh, coming out of a place you don't know where, you probably shouldn't work with them.